Today, it was her turn. Actor Amber Heard painted a picture of a controlling, jealous former husband whose repeated physical abuse, she testified, was fueled by drugs and alcohol. Calling me a whore. Uh, remember, he hit me in the face when I denied having an affair with my ex-wife. Disturbing testimony from a celebrity trial that has given the world a view behind closed doors. Johnny Depp is suing his ex-wife for libel after she wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post in 2018 about her experience with domestic abuse. The article never mentioned Depp by name, but the impact on his career was severe, his lawyers argue. During his testimony, Depp portrayed Heard as the abuser. Um, and then I looked down and realized that the, the, the tip of my finger had been severed. Ms. Heard had pulled, taken my cigarette from the ashtray and uh, stomped it out in my face. Every moment is being live streamed by Court TV. Fans eating it up, choosing sides, obsessing over details. The celebrity scholar says many are missing the point. Or which restaurant they're going to, you know, who their bodyguard was. So I think they might be missing the context, you know, the, of the. There have been widespread demonstrations this weekend over the future of abortion in our country. Some of them have gotten dangerously close to the homes of Supreme Court justices. And fears of potential trouble led to a beefed up police presence outside St. Patrick's Cathedral. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon has new reaction tonight to this heated debate. Throughout New York, there have been rallies in support of abortion rights. I'm concerned about young women that don't even know yet what could happen when they're in a very difficult situation. Remember the bad old days when women had to face the prospect of having an illegal and very dangerous abortion. At St. Patrick's Cathedral, the fear of demonstrations there led to a heightened police presence throughout the day. Over the weekend, protesters made their way to the homes of at least two Supreme Court justices. Our bodies! Our bodies! Hundreds marched through suburban D.C. through the streets of Chevy Chase, Maryland, frustrated. They went to the homes of Justice Brett Kavanaugh and Chief Justice John Roberts. Such a high stakes situation that if, you know, it's a little bit noisy in the neighborhood, um, you know, in comparison to what women in this country are facing, like it's really not a big deal. On the Sunday talk shows, Republicans offered their support for the potential end of Roe v. Wade. Elon Musk is taking over Twitter to the tune of $44 billion. After weeks of corporate wrangling, Twitter's board of directors accepting the billionaire's buyout offer in a unanimous vote. Musk, who has been one of Twitter's biggest critics, celebrating with rocket emojis, tweeting in part, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square. If approved by regulators, Twitter will go private, and shareholders will earn over $54 in cash for each share of common stock. So what is Musk going to change in your Twitter feed? He says he plans to add new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, and authenticating all humans. Well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for free speech. Other ideas on the table? Charging users a small subscription fee and adding an edit button for tweets. Some critics worry how Musk, who's faced his own backlash over controversial and offensive tweets, will handle Twitter's challenges with misinformation and toxic content. Shalom. I'd like to say, call name, Lai Ho by Shamel Shai. Let's see what the Bible said. Those are GMS, on the Hakim. And peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen, hope for collect. Call Loyam La Yahweh by Shamel Shai. And do this quick video today to the Pavi Ha by Shamel Shai on the distractions and the side shows, man. <clears throat> the red herrings, man. You know, again, people caught up um, <clears throat> diverting people's attention, man, from the real problems that's at hand. This video is more of a news report than anything. But um, we see the distractions. We see that stupid Johnny Depp case, which I don't know why is that televised. Um, when you had the whole Epstein uh, propaganda and the whole uh, Elaine Maxwell. And for some reason, that wasn't televised. They just showed you stupid drawings, right? You had no clue what was going on in the courtroom, right? That federal case. 
it said they're not allowed to film or whatever bullshit, man. And then you have this whole <clears throat> uh, the abortion, how they say the Roe v. Wade is it, it was leaked. No, that was purposely done, man, to cause chaos. All right, and all these celebrity deaths as well, and most importantly, Elon Musk. He's been in the news a lot lately, and he's controlled opposition. And they're using this guy, and he just purchased Twitter. You see? And he wants to put the MOTB in your brain, man. Which that's another lesson for another time. But people are rejoicing that he bought Twitter, thinking that he's a champion of free speech. This is all distractions, man. Distractions. And pretty much, the theory is that they want chaos before November and we could believe that, man, because the scripture tells you that the devil knows that he has but a short time. Just did a video on the famine and the food shortages and inflations and the water droughts, man. They're already telling people that in the summertime, meat is going up. We already see the gas prices sky high, man, record breaking, right? People are not paying attention to jack shit, and people went right back to sleep, right? They got over C-19. Right back to square one again, man. And the scripture tells us, I'm going to get some articles. Um, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, classic precept. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, right? And Satan, you know, the spiritual demon Satan worked through his children. Um, I saw these Idumians. The scripture says he's the prince of the power of the year. Satan should not get advantage of us because we'll continue on our watch. Right? We'll continue fighting. And the scripture says to keep resisting him. Right? For we are not ignorant of his devices, his schemes, or his plans. We know what this devil is planning. And I'll get some articles in a minute. Right? So the scripture says we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not. Because as it is written, 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. Well, let me read it, but we know that the classic precept. I'm going to get to these articles real quick. It says, For we are of the times and seasons, brethren. Ye have no need that I write unto you. We all know what time period we're in. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. And we can see that. Because unbelief is high on the planet Earth, man. But we could just see what's on display right now, man. Iniquity, sins have increased. Okay, everything is just sexual decadence, man. This place is on a, a moral decline. All right, which proves that we at the end. But anyway, let's read on. It says, um, Thief in the night, for when they shall say peace and safety, which is looking like it right now. Well, we can't even say that because we're in the middle of war right now. Just that the average American's mind and people's mind is on uh, the summertime coming up, right? You just had this Mother's Day foolishness, man. So, you know, so people are hoping that this place bounce back to uh, its previous glory or Babylon will be healed. It's not going to happen. It says peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as it travail upon a woman with child and they should not escape. Right. Like it says in uh, which I'll get that precept second and 16 in a minute. But um, let's get to these articles, man. First one, quick. Here we go. Tyson Re Foods reports soaring meat prices as inflation continues. Look, 144 it says chicken going up by 14.4%, beef 23.8%, prepared food 15.9%, pork, which you should not be eating, 10.8%, right? Everything's going up. It's keep going up, man. You see, this is what people are supposed to be writing about. This is what people are supposed to be holding this clown Biden accountable for, man. All right, and he's not doing anything to, to slow down the gas or the rise in grocery prices or why they culling chickens or why there's a water drought. None of these things are being really published. It's out there, but it's not really, um, they're not really pushing it. Um, um, the severity of it on the mainstream. All right, just like this article right here, which I also saw. This right here says, it said German interior minister citizens 
This is what they said. A German interior minister. He said citizens should start hoarding emergency supplies. <laughs> this came out a couple of days ago. Since the background of the Ukraine war, Federal Interior Minister Nancy Faser advised citizens to take survivalist precautions in the event of a crisis. Well, okay. Let's read on down. They said, think for an example, a cyber attack on a critical infrastructure. And they keep talking about that, man. They keep talking about the cyber attacks. The SPD politician told German Business Daily that had it so blot. If the power goes out for a long period of time or daily life is restricted in some other way, then it definitely makes sense to have emergency apply at home. See, so they're telling their citizens to prepare because they expect this uh, this war with Ukraine to become a um, continental war and then a world war. So they're telling them to stock up on food, medicines, medical supplies to be prepared, man. And that's what we doing. We're prepping spiritually, okay? Because you can prep on a physical level, but... Ultimately, those goods and those supplies can't save you from what's coming, man. Your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that's the only way out of this thing, man. And I also seen something with the CDC, which is surprised that Fauci is not in prison. But this was imported by um, Vice.com. They said CDC tracks millions of phones to see if Americans followed C-19 lockdown orders, Right. They're on investigation as well. It says newly released documents show the CDC planned to use phone location data to monitor schools and churches and wanted to use the data for many non C-19 purposes. Now, why does the C-19, why does the CDC have that type of power, man? See, so they have access to millions of phones in the United States and they were tracking people patterns in schools and churches, man. See if you were following a curfew. See if you was uh, following the quarantine rules, man. And we also know there's going to be another lockdown, especially when they shut the society down again. Everything that happened in 2020 to now, that was just a trial run. All right. And we see the vast majority of people failed. 66 percent of people now, I think 66.8, got the C-19 uh, Vanessa, man. All right. So that was just a, a, a trial run to take away your civil liberties. You see? Before they bring the real thing, when they shut this place down, just like they're doing in China, right? The whole Shanghai, right? That's always the model uh, they use, man. The China communist model, like they did in 2020, it started over there. And we see the lockdowns that they have over there right now. <clears throat> see, so it's coming again, man. So that's why the scripture tells us, let me get uh, Matthew, the 16th chapter. Right, Matthew 16. I want to get another video out to the spirit. It says the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, tempted and desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When in this evening he say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering, and people cannot. Well, we're going to keep reading. Well, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky. But can he not discern the signs of the times, man? And people can't discern the signs of the times, man. And their number one excuse is people always say these things are going to happen and happen yet. Well, the scripture says, do it, tarry, wait, for it will surely come to pass, man. And everything that's in the scriptures, what the Lord told you in Matthew, the 24th chapter, the beginning of SARS, you see it playing out right in front of your eyes, the wars and the rumors of wars. Signs in the sun, signs in the moon, earthquakes in diverse places. Okay. You see the famine now. Okay. We had the whole pandemic in 2020. See, like I just said, that was a test or model run that they're going to use to bring forth the, the big thing next, which is the MOTB, which is going to completely complac um, collapse the dollar, man. And we just talked about Germany telling these citizens to hoard up on certain supplies because a cyber attack is coming. Klaus, so I told you, all these elites already told you that that's the next big thing. An EMP or a cyber attack, man. So scripture says to discern the signs of the times and to remain in the light, a.k.a. Yahweh Shai. Remain occupied in prophecy. Continue resisting the devil. Because the scripture says with what? Let me get that 2 Timothy 2 and 4. 
I'm gonna get the uh, last precept out. 17204. So these people they distracted, man. The playoffs. Like they said, give them bread and circuses, and they would never revolt. That's what they said in the Roman Empire, and they were completely right. Right? Now it's, you know, like we said, it's sports, social media, you know, blogs, podcasts. People are just completely who <laughs> are the metaverse. That's what people minds is at, man. And some virtual reality. All right? So it says in 2 Timothy 2 and 4. So 2 and 3. Therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. No man that worth entangle himself with the affairs of this life. And yeah, we have things to do. Right? You have to take care of yourself. You have to work. If you have a family, you have to take care of them. Right? But you can't get caught up or entangled in those things, man. Right? Because that's a trap, man. Our salvation is on the line, man. So you have to sacrifice certain things. I'm going to do a video on that. That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier, solitude, alone. Right? And if a man also strive for the masteries, yet he's not crowned except he strive lawfully. Right? Like I also tell you, 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, to obtain um, the mastery in this truth. You got to be tempered, balanced in all things. So we can't get entangled in the affairs of this life. We have to keep Yahweh Bashanel Shah first. Why? Because like we read these articles in second of the 16th chapter tells you the birth pains, man, and that the earth is going to mourn. Okay? There's gonna be a global food shortage, man. Oh boy. Okay, so let me read Daniel the fifth chapter. The writing is on the wall for Babylon. Okay, that's the main message we push out is prophecy. All right? Daniel 5 and I'm going to jump. Daniel 5 and when Belshazzar, Nebuchadnezzar's grandson, the king made a great feast to thousands of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, while his taste of the wine commanded, and that's the spirit that people is in right now in America. Same spirit that Belshazzar was in, man. Wine, drinking it up, as it tells you in the days of Noah, Luke the 17th chapter. Commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels with his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princes, his wives, and his concubines might drink therein. Then they brought out the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of the Most High, which had Jerusalem. And the king and the princes and his wives and his concubines drank in them. They drank and praised the gods of gold, of silver, of brass, and iron, and wood, and of stone. And today is that dollar bill. Everybody's talking about how to get more money and more money and more money. That's their God, man. See, but let's see that Savior in the time that's coming when they tank the dollar. All right, let's jump on down. Let's get when he saw the wall and the, 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 well, the scripture says, In the same hour came four fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. And then the king's countenance had changed and his thoughts troubled him so that the joints of his loins were loose and his knees smoked one against another. He got shook, man. And that's coming great fear. We be saying that, man. Yahweh Bashanel Shai is going to bring it. Scripture says we just have to wait in your, in your patience, possess your soul. You have to wait, man. Endure hardness. Now let's read on. This is Daniel speaking to him. Daniel verse 17. Dan Daniel answered and said before the king, Let thy gifts be to thyself and give thy rewards to another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king and make known to him the interpretation. O thou king, the most high power, gave Nebuchadnezzar thy father a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor. And for the majesty that gave him all people, nations, and languages trembled and feared before him, whom before he slew and whom he would kept alive, and he was set up and whom he would put down. When his heart was lifted up and his mind hardened in pride, he was disposed of his kingly throne and took his glory from him. The Most High made him on the level of a beast and was driven from the sons of men and his heart was made like beasts and dwellings with them, the wild asses. They fed him with grass like an oxen and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till he knew that the Most High power ruled in the kingdom of men and that he appointed it over whomsoever he will. 
He was about to find that out, man. Because Aisha, he's a god in this world. Right? She tells you that. For God's will be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. For the God of this world that blinded them. See? His image. And thou, his son, O Belshazzar, has not humbled thine heart. Thou hast noosed all of this. But has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee. And thou and thy lords and thy wives and thy concubines have drunk wine in them. And has praised the gods of silver and of gold and of brass, iron, wood, and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know, and the Most High, whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified, man? And only the elect, the hopeful elect. Well, I don't want we, we the hopeful elect, but Lord, when we are part of the elect, we're the only ones glorifying Yahweh by Shemel Shah from the apostles on down, man. Okay? Then was a part of the hand sent from him, and his right was written. And this is the writing that was written. Many, many to kill a parson. This is the interpretation of the thing. Many the most high remember thy kingdom and finished it. To kill thou art weighed in the balance and art found wanting. Perez thy kingdom is divided and give it to the Medes and the Persians, man. See, so the writing is on the wall. And this was what? In ancient Babylon. And America's what? The daughter of Babylon. So the writing is on the wall for this place, man. Now, we just got to keep striving and enduring. So that must say, call him lie, how about Shimei, I was shy, Shalom.